So I wanted to go over bridling. Uh, it's kind of a big deal. I see a lot of people bridling their horses um, and making things worse for their horse, where ultimately over time, it's either difficult for that horse to be bridled or because of sensitivity in the mouth and the way that that horse is being bridled, that horse doesn't really enjoy the process. Now, uh, Missy's only been bridled, I think uh, now, this will be her third time uh, being bridled. So uh, this isn't like it's her first time, uh, but you'll see when you introduce it this way, um, it's so easy for them to be bridled. So what I like to do, oh, I like that nice big deep breath. So always like with everything guys, we're gonna stop, <sighs> reward her for making that decision, okay? And again, this is also going back to when I talk about these tests that we do with our horses to make sure that they're gonna be more likely to be safe for us, especially for that first ride. Uh, bridling's a big one for me. If I see a horse that won't even let you put the bridle on, that tells me there's a couple of red flags or some things that need to be worked out before I would feel confident just hopping off and riding into the sunset, right? So here we go. So when I bridle, I like to reposition myself to where I am standing at my horse's shoulder. I can't tell you how often I see people where they're in front of their horse and when they go to bridle, they're trying to shove that bit into that horse's mouth from in front, okay? So think about that because what that means is I'm putting a lot of pressure going forward. When you put pressure going forward like that, what does that do to a horse? It makes them apprehensive. They'll probably raise that head. They might start to back away from you. So I wanna do this together right with her so i'm going to come over by her shoulder and the first thing i'm actually going to do is slide my reins over her face right so i'm going to slide those reins over i love that that was very nice and relaxed good girl now this is important again i see a lot of people they go to bridle those reins are on the ground. What can happen then? Say she starts dancing around, she steps in those while she's bridled up, she can end up, I mean, all kinds of ugly things can happen, right? So we don't want our tack on the ground. I'm going to pick those reins up again, shake the sand off there, <sighs> make sure it doesn't get in her eyes. Oh, there we go. Okay, and now I'm going to, again, cross it right over her. So, I mean, she handled that really well, again, we talk about red flags. If this were a pony that when I went to go put the reins over her neck, she was freaking out. Probably not a pony that I want to ride, right? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the bridle in and I love how she's taking to this. I mean, she's just bringing her head here. She's got a loose rein. Look at that, I really, really like that. So what I, what I do here when I bridle is I'm gonna pass from one hand to the next and I'm gonna have my right hand in this case right between the middle of her ears, okay? So I'm just gonna pass it there and I'm gonna lay that bridle like right over her face, okay? So it's kind of in the way. And so by putting it in the way, she's gonna want to get that out of the way. Look at her start to <laughs> kind of twitch with her lip there. She's like, ah, hey, can you get this out of the way? That's kind of annoying. That's what I want. I want the moment that I put it over there that she's trying to get it out. And the quickest way to get it out is by opening up that mouth. So I'm gonna put that thumb kind of in the corner and as soon as she opens that mouth, I'm going to slide that into her mouth. And we take all that pressure of it kind of just hanging there away. So we're actually rewarding her for taking it. So now what do we do with these ears, right? I got a brow bound here. I'll just tuck this ear forward, okay? So I'll kind of tuck it forward and slide over there. And then I'll tuck the ear closest to me. I'll tuck that forward and slide it under. We'll kind of adjust our brow bound a little. And now I'm gonna go and grab my throat latch and I'm just gonna buckle up my throat latch here. Okay, so again, right now she's bridled up. If I, if I uh, needed to, I could slide the, the, on a Western saddle, you can always slide your, your reins over the horn just to keep her from stepping in them or pulling them off, right? Um, and then now, so we got have her nice and bridled. I mean, look at that head carriage. Look at how relaxed she is. You know, I'm not forcing her to do that. I'm not holding her down there. She's choosing to be there with me, okay? So now I wanna go over unbridling, guys. I see a lot of people, they'll go to unbridle their horse. What do they do? They'll grab their rein, okay? 
or some people don't even grab their rein, right? But what they'll do is they'll undo the throat latch, they'll stand in front, and you see like when I go to stand in front of her like that, she's like, what are you doing, right? She tossed that head up, and then what do they do? They grab that bridle off, and when they grab that bridle off, it kind of sometimes will hinge at the bit, and so it'll get stuck in their teeth, and then that horse will shoot back, and people are like, oh, this horse doesn't know how to bridle, this is a bad horse. Well, no, we're not unbridling them correctly. So let me show you how I'd like for you to unbridle so that you can make this a better experience for her, but also make sure, of course, that you're not harming her teeth or clanking at her or making her worse at this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just get my, my lead rope, that excess out of the way. And something I didn't mention, when I'm bridling horses for the first time, I like to have that lead rope. I like to have the halter on underneath. It just gives me a little bit more control so I can keep them with me. I have something to hold on to until I know that they're handling this and doing this uh, pretty well. So first step, I'm gonna grab my rein. I'm gonna slide it over here over my horse's pole, more or less, okay? So that way I've got everything right here. Then I'm gonna unhook my throat latch. So I'm just gonna go ahead, undo the buckle here, Okay, so now I can pull this off. Even, I see people who actually get in this right position, but then they pull this down. And again, that creates that leverage where it can get caught on their teeth and their mouth, very uncomfortable. So what I want you to do is unhook these ears, but hold that bridle in place in her mouth and wait for her to relax first. So I'm gonna wait for her to relax. Nice big deep breath, good. Then I'll just lower it straight down, okay? So I'm gonna lower it straight down. See how it didn't clank in her teeth, it didn't get hung up? <laughs> hey, good girl. She did really well there. So when you're bridling your horse, what I want you to do is take your time, be slow, be step by step, and make sure that you include her in the process, right? So, hey, silly girl. So make sure that you kind of let her know what's coming, rub and love on her, take that time, and set her up to do well so that going forward, she's going to continue to bridle well for you.